you're setting up your measurement station, just make sure that it's level. This is a fancy measurement station, so you can make it level in all the different directions. It's not that uh, important when you're doing these really small measurements like, because uh, vortex turbines require very small height differences and not over a long distance. Um, but yeah, you can uh, just always make sure that you do it right. So you can see that the bubble is in the middle and that means that it's level in all directions. And then the next step is that you will go out with your gauge and you put it in the downstream direction and you take a measurement and then afterwards we'll do it in an upstream direction and take another measurement and that will give us our height difference. Make sure that everything is level, like so. And when everything is level, start looking through the looking glass. Up here, so it's 23, right? And now you move upstream with the tape measure and you take another measurement. Again, making sure that everything is level. And now, again, you're gonna look through a looking glass, looking where it's at, and then in real life you can also just use a stick with really big lines, so you can read them, because it's like 12. It's very important that you measure the water level and not the bottom of your river. So the, just that value that I gave just now, we have to deduct, as you can see, something like uh, 6 centimeters from that for the actual water level itself. First you measure the depth with three points over the whole width and then we measure the total width of the canal after measuring the depth. So now we have the width of the canal and we have the depth of the water and multiplying those two by each other we can get to the current flow that we have through here. Now this is a river that also gets more flow in the other seasons and right now it has been dry for a long time. The next step is start to measure the velocity in three places. And take multiple measurements so that you can uh, take those results together. And again 30 seconds.